I mean, they're on it. They, they are on a seemingly wild 2,000 acre preserve with just them. So they do have the ability to hunt on that preserve, but they're not doing it yet. They're starting to exhibit the, the original, the kind of the, the first inklings that, that it will trend toward that. But we want them to live. We want them, and we're going to probably make two or three more. We want a, a solid little social pack that we can monitor, that can live a seemingly wild life, that we can understand more about them. Wow. It's cool. But the other thing that's that's equally uh, cool to it, going back to the Red Wolf story, um, can, can you... What's just crazy to me that you have reignited these 10,000-year-old hunting genes. Yeah. That they're starting including to Including size. Including size. So we understand more about, like, we, you know, we looked at what uh, genes made really a dire wolf a dire wolf, like what was separated. And the beautiful thing for us is that we had a 13,000-year-old tooth and a 73,000-year-old skull, so we could actually understand uh, the genetic uh, distance, with that much genetic distance between them, we could actually understand, uh, you know, what truly was fixed and conserved in the dire wolf genome and what mm. wasn't just population genomes, right?